What's up guys, Tim Murray here. Now this is going to be saving lighting presets. It's a bit of a different tutorial style today just because it's a pretty easy lesson, but this is a pretty beneficial technique. So basically what this will allow you to do is that once you've made the effect once, you're not going to have to make the effect again because it's going to be saved as a preset. So relatively simple, but a good thing to learn. So let's just jump straight into it. First of all, I've got this MIDI track here and I'm just going to set this as my Launchpad Pro, which I'll be using today. Channel 6 because that is lights for it. And once we've got that going, you'll see that, yep, we've got some brown light feedback going here. Cool. Now, first off, you just want to drag a MIDI effect rack into here. This is basically just going to be your splitter so that this splits the buttons into different buttons for light shows and whatnot. Yeah. I'm not very good at talking on a camera if you haven't noticed, that's generally why my videos are kind of edited. So this button here is B3, so we just go like that and that. So now only B3 is going to be lit. Now the first part about the saving lighting presets that I do is that I've got this pitch effect here and what I'll do is that I will pitch this down until it's at C1, that light there, because basically what this does is that once you save lighting presets, each light will be made as if it was made for C1. It's basically like your default point, and what this will do is that it will make it really, really easy to find where, where to put the light shows kind of thing. So basically in making it here, I could put this on any other, any other button, so I could have it up here or something like that, which is C5. And putting it there, I just change the pitch effect at the start, and then the light will work with it. So enough of my ramblings there, let's just jump in and make a pretty basic light effect here. Um, I've got one in mind from when I had tried this before. So I guess we'll, oh, we'll just make it there. So we've got a pitch effect there. Um, we will throw in a velocity for some nice color. And then we will go chord. 4, 8, 12. Now this will make like a row upwards, or a column. Um, we'll put that in there again. Probably could have just duplicated that. Um, 16, 0. Oh, that's already done. Cool. So yeah, by pressing this button, it creates a column upwards. So we'll get a bit of movement in there just by chucking an arpeggiator in here. Um, uh, I'm going relatively fast over this part here, but that's just because I have other tutorials where I cover this kind of thing. So yeah, be sure to check them out. They're definitely going to be a lot better edited than this. Um, up and down, oh, and hold it. So yeah, pressing it once, we'll make it go up and down. Um, chuck a note length on there too. Cool. So we've got our basic effect done here, and if I want to save this for later on, the first thing that I would do is that I would actually make a few macro controls here. So I would do one for here, so you just right click here and go map to macro 1. I'm going to name this color. So yeah, moving this of course is going to change the color of the light. This is just pretty easy for like if you want to quickly make a selection of a light color just boom you can change it there. Oh there was a nice pink there actually. There we go. So yeah, I know now that that's 57 and I can select that with any other light effect that has a color thing here. I'll give that white so I know it's assigned. Cool, now after we have done that, I can go maybe chuck the rate on macro 2, so this allows us to change the speed. There we go, I'll just give that a color synced rate, I'll remember that. Uh, note length, map to macro 3, so now we can choose how long the light is set for. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm just creating some easy controls that I can quickly adjust for when I chuck this into another project. So there we go. Now, what I would want to do here is that you'd want to give it a name. So just um, Launchpad. Um, so what I would do here is that I would put Launchpad Pro, just because I know that this is made for a Launchpad Pro. And then column, just column up, down. We'll put an ampersand in there. There we go. Cool. So yeah, now it's got a name. Now this button here, that just looks like a little like save thing, like a card kind of style thing. If you click this here, this is going to save it as a preset. And you see it's done something here where you can save it here. If I press enter, boom. Now that there is saved. So if I want to create another chain here, 
And then let's say we'll give it this button here. What is that? A, oh, G4. So yeah, now if I go and drag a pitch effect into this one here and then pitch this down to C1 and then go into our MIDI effect rack and this is the one that we've just saved here and there we go, it's already going. So now we can change the color of this one. Oh, I probably should have made another macro assigning for here because now what this can do is that you can go like that. So there we go. Two different lights there and I only spent time to make that once and I can use this on other projects and like later on in the future. So yeah, as you can see, this is just a pretty simple technique, but it is really valuable. I hope you guys understood this enough. I apologies if I ramble a wee bit. I'm still trying to work on talking to a camera or talking by myself in a room by myself. It's, it's just a weird concept to me. So I will try to get better at doing this later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Timmy out. <laughs>